Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jack here with another album review. Today we're going to be talking about Disharmonia Mundy's long-awaited fifth studio album, Cold Inferno. The last time this two-piece released music was December 9th, 2009, so the announcement of this new album was huge and highly anticipated. So I just started getting into Disharmonia Mundy earlier this year, like January, February. Uh, I, so I guess the, the release for me wasn't as huge as I can imagine it be for others because I haven't been waiting five and a half years. While I haven't been listening to Disharmonia Mundi for a really long time, I have listened to all of their four previous studio albums, so I kind of knew what to expect from their new album. And what I expected is definitely what I heard when I listened to Cold Inferno after listening to it over and over for like three days straight. After about five and a half years, you would expect that Disharmonia Mundi would change their sound, maybe evolve a little bit, but from what I heard, they kind of sound exactly the same, and they're the, the same Disharmonia Mundi that everybody's come to know and love. While I do like bands that constantly evolve their sound, it's nice to have a few that just faithfully stick to their roots. This album was like a really nice refresher to what Disharmonia Mundi was all about. When I just started listening to Disharmonia Mundi, I downloaded all of their albums, all of their songs at once, and I was just listening to them, only them, for a few weeks straight. And then I kind of took a break, I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to other bands. But when this album was announced and I downloaded it, and it brought me back, so it was, it was nice. One thing I noticed right off the bat with this album and any other album that Disharmonia Monday has made is that the production quality in general just is good, but it could be better. The drums, the lead guitar, the rhythm guitar, the bass, they kind of overlap uncomfortably and drown each and every other one out kind of sometimes so when I'm listening to a song I'm really not sure what I should be paying attention to the most and I know it's really hard to make high quality music when there's basically one guy doing everything which is why this band needs more members I would imagine by now that they would get a few people together but it's still the two of them I mean this band has so much potential more members of this band could lead to more influence on the songs that they make better production quality more studio albums more frequently, and more live shows, if live shows any. There'd be so much benefit from having more members of the band. So, now let's get to the actual songs. To be honest, when I listened to this album for the first time, I was really overwhelmed with all of it. I had to listen to the whole thing like three or four times before I actually started to differentiate each song as their own song. I mean, every album in general with any artist has the same vibe or the same feel to it, but with this one, I just thought it was really hard to tell one song apart from another. Like, they're very, very similar. But even though I thought that each song sounded kind of similar, I thought they were all pretty good. Like, at first I listened to Creation Dirge and I was like, okay, I like this song, it's pretty good. Then to Storm Ghost, I'm like, yeah, I think this is my favorite. And then I saw I'm like, yeah, maybe this one's my favorite. And so on and so on, I'm like, oh, maybe this one's my favorite besides the last one. Maybe this one's my favorite. Every song that I listen to, I liked. The album as a whole is pretty good, but the first run through was just a lot to take in. If you are a diehard Disharmonia Mundi fan, then this is the album for you because it basically gives you everything you've wanted for the past six years. If you are new to this band, or if you've never heard of this band and you listen to this album, you're gonna have to listen to it a few times before it actually starts to grow on you. However, no song to me kind of stuck out. Like, you know, sometimes you listen to this one album and this one song is just like, okay, that is my favorite song it really didn't do that for me. Like, for example, in their past albums, in Fragments of Degeneration, it was Red Clouds to me. Like, Red Clouds was a really good song, and that is by far my favorite on that album. And for Mind Tricks, it was Mind Tricks. I like that song a lot. But this one so far, that hasn't happened yet. If I was to pick one song that I thought was remotely better than the rest to me right now, um, I'd probably go with Storm Ghost, but only because I've listened to that one the most. I think if I listened to all the other ones just as much as that, they would all be at the same level again. I don't know, I just, I'm, I know Storm Ghost the best, so I guess I'm gonna go with that. I do also like Oddities from the Ravishing Chasm, because I give props to long songs, I really like long songs and it was really consistently good throughout the whole song. I actually think this is one of the longest songs that they've ever made, which is pretty awesome. While 
I don't particularly have a favorite song from this album yet. I do have a favorite guitar riff and a favorite guitar solo. My favorite guitar riff would probably be Blessing From Below. And my favorite guitar solo would be from Clay of Heat. thing that I really didn't like about this album at all, and it's a really small thing, like at the beginning, very beginning of Creation Dirge, you hear all of this, like, these sounds, and it plays this, like, the most cliche, um, suspense hit that you could probably find in, like, Garage Band. I don't know, that just really, I was like, uh, I don't think this fits. I think it just take it out, sound a little bit better. Aside from that, though, I really like the rest of the song. question is, is this album worth your money? And I would say it most definitely is. For any Disharmonia Mundi fan, this album was definitely worth the wait. And for people that are new or have not listened to Disharmonia Mundi before, it's just going to take some getting used to. Also, you should pay for this album rather than stealing it because these two guys need as much support as possible so they can keep making music. Alright, so that is about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.